Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. This video tutorial is about creating bare minimum Linux and running it on Chemo Emulator. We will explain configuring Linux kernel. Creating root file system using BusyBox. So, relax and watch this video till the end. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. Visit us at www.embeddedcraft.org. We have also created videos using Chemo. You can refer to these videos. In this video, you will learn about building a Linux kernel for a virtual ARM board for Chemo. In this second video, you will emulate ARM Cortex M board and run code to blink LED. Link of both videos is given in the description. Let us have a look at dependencies. You can use any recent version of Ubuntu. We have to install Chemo. This will install Chemo. Chemo is getting installed. Chemo is installed. Now we have to install build essentials. Here is the command to install build essentials. Build essentials was already installed on my machine. Here are the utilities we need to install. These utilities are required to build the kernel and open the config menu. Now we are good to go. Creating workspace kernel mini directory and cd into this directory. We have to download Linux kernel. At the time of recording latest kernel was 5.13.2. Next is we have to download BusyBox. And here is the command. And BusyBox going to be installed. Done. Now we have Linux kernel source. Let us extract it. Command is tar hyphen x v f and Linux tar file. Extraction is complete. Let us enter into the directory. We are now ready for Linux configuration and compilation. We will start first with saying no to all config options. Type make all no config. This will configure Linux with all options set to no. Now let us do customization. Type make menu config. A nice tool for Linux customization is in front of us now. First we will give our host name. Going to general setup. Here is the host name option. In our case, Host name will be embedded craft underscore Linux. Next we will set support for 64-bit processors. For this, just enable 64-bit kernel option. Now I am going to enable support for RAM disk. For this we have to go to general setup and initial RAM file system and RAM's disk support. Enable RAM disk support. Now we need support for print K. For this go to General Setup and Configure Standard Kernel Features Disable All Options And just enabling support for Print K Without Print K we will not see kernel messages during boot time Next we need to enable ZIP support in kernel for that go to General Setup. Great! ZIP is already enabled. We need support for ELF binaries. For that go to Executable File Format. Here is the option to enable support for ELF binaries. Just check this option. Now we have support for ELF binaries. Now we will enable temp file system, mounted at root dev. For this, go to device driver, and generic driver options. Check maintain a dip file system to mount at root dev. 
and also enable auto mount at root dev. That's it. Next, we need to enable TTY. TTY is required for console. In character devices, we are enabling the console. Next is to enable serial drivers for our Linux machine. Go to device driver, character device, and serial drivers. Let us enable 8250 and 16550 driver support. And this option will send the console on 8250 serial port. Now we have to enable sudo file system for our proc and sys file system. We have to go to file systems and then into sudo file system. Select proc and sys. We are done with all the settings for our kernel. We are good to move forward. I am going to save config file. And exit. This will save .config file. You can view this file. Just type get it.config. Here is the config file. You can see all config options are mentioned in this file. Better if you keep a copy of this config file as backup. We are ready to build our Linux kernel. Let us type make hyphen J4. Building of kernel is started. This will take some time. Build is complete. It is time to create RAM disk. For RAM disk, we will use BusyBox. We have already downloaded BusyBox. CD to BusyBox. Let us customize it. So, type make menu config. This will open config menu of BusyBox. We will use static binary. To config, go to settings and choose build static binary. Exit and save. Build BusyBox. Type make hyphen J4. This will take a while to build BusyBox. Build is complete. Now install. This will install an underscore install directory. ls dot underscore install. Here you can see we have all the busy box binaries. We have to create init ramps. Create embedded craft underscore mini directory. Entering into it. Create etc proc sys and dev directories here. Bring all files from underscore install folder from here. cp hyphen a busybox and underscore install star space and dot. This has copied all files here. This is the complete directory tree. Linux need program to run after boot. This program is in it. We will run script as init program. We have to create init script file. Type, get it init. Here is the content of init file. These two lines are for mounting proc and sysfs to root proc and root sys directories. Calculating booting time, from root proc uptime file. This is our welcome message. And finally we are executing root bin sh. That's it. This file need to be given executable permission. So, type chmod, plus x, init. Now we will create init ramps in CPIO archive format. Type find dot hyphen print zero pipe null 
hyphen o v hyphen hyphen format is equal to nuke pipe zip hyphen nine and output file will be init ramp cpio gz init ram file system is created this has copied all files here you can see size of init ram file system is only 1.7 mb now we are ready to boot linux in kemu let us recollect what we have. We have compressed Linux kernel. We have RAM FS archive. And here is command to run Kemu. Kemu hyphen system x86 underscore 64. hyphen kernel, and we are giving kernel path. And the name of kernel is bz image. hyphen init rd, and path to init ramps archive. hyphen append, this is our Linux kernel argument. init is equal to bin sh. and console is equal to ttys0. And finally, hyphen no graphics. Clear. And here is the command. Wow, our Linux kernel is booted. Let us type uname hyphen a. This is our host name. Date of Linux kernel build. CPU is x86, 64-bit variant. Let us type, top. Command to view running process. You see, sh process is running as process id1. Type q for exit. And here is the kernel command line, which we have given. Let us review, CPU information. Vendor it is authentic AMD. Model name of VM is Kemu Virtual CPU. We can see kernel messages using dmes command. Here is the Linux kernel version. System name is Kemu Standard PC. Now we can exit, just type Ctrl, A and Q to exit from Kemu. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. Visit us at www.embeddedcraft.org. With this we are going to end this session. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to the Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial. Meanwhile goodbye and take care.